A Maryland couple faced a neglect investigation for letting their 10 and 6 year olds walk home from a playground. Lots of you have also probably heard of the Florida mom arrested for letting her 7 year old walk to the park alone. We ask, is the law going too far? The Mamaha moms are here to debate that question right here. Welcome back. The sassy housewife, Danielle Herzog. Uh, and then we have Lauren Bonk, your first time on the show. Thanks for coming in here. <laughs> and um, Leslie Mural, good to see you. Hi. Okay, so let's start with this. And so uh, this Maryland case, it was a 10-year-old and a six-and-a-half-year-old. Uh, they walked home from the park alone. Uh, what are your thoughts? You know, my first instinct was, oh, that was too harsh. You know, I wouldn't do it, but that was too harsh. But what then was the too more, harsh? The, the, the consequence, no, the consequence uh, of arresting her. Well, they didn't get arrested. It was an investigation. Investigation. In the other mom did get she arrested did, yeah. and faces five years mm -hmm. for it. But um, I have to say, when I started to think about it, my own daughter, it started to freak me out and I think maybe it is neglect and maybe there should be a very strong consequence for letting someone that young, putting them at risk for what could happen by themselves. Okay, let's move on down. I personally would, I would never, I would never let my kid as a seven-year-old walk that far by himself. But I think that I don't know, I don't know the seven-year-old, I don't know the level of maturity, and I don't know the level of communication between the child and the mom, so I don't feel that, that an arrest is appropriate for the immediate action. Yeah. I feel there needs to be a case-by-case -case investigation. Leslie. Well, if there's parenting, and um, in parenting they have this thing called natural consequences, and so you're running the risk of a natural consequence on its own of something happening to that child. Um, but I, you know, as, as hilarious as I am and as liberal of a parent as I am, I don't think I could do it. My kids are just way too gorgeous to let them do that by themselves. Yeah. In an I know, but right. what happened here? What happened? When I was a kid, I remember I was in mm -hmm. kindergarten, in first grade, I was walking to school 10, 12 blocks, yep. no problem. What has changed? Well, you're not as attractive as her children. <laughs> they, would, they wouldn't take me. <laughs> they wouldn't me. take you. Well, that's, that's probably right. true. Yeah, you're know. But what has right. changed? I think what, what first has changed is the fact that we're finding out now about more situations. People say, oh, no, more kids are getting um, abducted or more things like that. No, I think we just have access to that information more. We know, we know more about it. But the stats show that those type of incidents aren't on the increase. It's the Absolutely. same. I, I grew up in the days with, with John Jubert when that was out there. Right. Remember when mm -hmm. those abductions no, happened? No, you're very old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I was still walking to school. Well, so. your parents didn't love you. And so, no, but See, I do, I, I do you think. Can't, uh, come on the show and treat me like this. Well, my, I mean, my parents, they, they were, they're good people. You're good. You're a good person, mom. <laughs> um, but uh, they really had no idea where I was like for days, you know, in the summer. Right. They had no idea where I was. My but husband was the same the way. Al also when that. I was a child is exactly when um, John Walsh, that whole story happened uh -huh. with yeah, John America's Walsh and everything. Wanted. And then he made it such an effort to bring it to, uh, you know, to fruition that, uh, you know, what's going on is this is happening every day. And that happened with the mom, you know, right there in the department store. Well, yeah. I think with, I mean, I grew up in the rescue 911 slash unsolved mysteries mm -hmm. generation and how can you not i mean how can you not imagine and something? i think it's about the parents it's you just hit it as a parent you're saying i don't want anything to happen to my child it's about us it's not about them because if something happened to them we would be the ones who failed there and i keep coming back to that like if i let my child walk that way and something happens to him mm -hmm. i'm responsible but there's something that can happen to your child in many instances so sure. Do you have to watch your kids 24/7? I mean, can can they have time to their to themselves and learn and grow kind of independently? You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's, there's a line there. I think they can, but I think that they have to be kind of what Lauren said, a certain maturity level to be able to handle that what's independence. That, what, what's that maturity level? Is there 30. an age? Yeah, 30. <laughs> 30 yeah. When they're married, right? When they're yeah. married and they're somebody else's problem. Right. No, well, I'm well, a little bit more age? helicopter. What know. age do you think? I would, I would probably say 10 or 11. 10 I or 11. would feel comfortable letting them walk, a, you know, a certain distance. I don't know what that distance is. I would probably still stand on the street corner with binoculars and make sure <laughs> yes. that they made it. Oh, that's what yeah. I did. Do you let your kids play in the front yard, though? Sometimes. My kids are 12 now, so, so now we, that you do, yeah, we you let them. them. And they're bigger than most adults, so I think they could take whoever was trying to mess with them. They Danielle, could take them pretty well. Kids? 
My kids are uh, six and three, and yeah. I do. I am starting to let them play in the front yard. The now, given I'm still, if he's with her, with the six-year-old, I stare at the window and I stare at the door. But it's a great opportunity for having a cocktail inside <laughs> while they're playing. Yeah, so I'm absolutely. Sure it is. Well, the the lady that um, was arrested, had her confidence in letting him do that was a phone hanging from his neck, right. and. Well, I, I don't think that's... I think some parents think okay. that the phones can replace right. their supervision. Mamaha.com, that's the website you can go to to learn about um, everything they're doing, all your opinions, your blog stories, uh, you're on Twitter, you've got the, you can send an email to them if you want to as well. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for your first time. <laughs> Thank first you. Time. <laughs> you hung very well with these two <laughs> troublemakers. Yeah.